This is Scott Yonke, and I'm the Planning and Development Director with Ramsey County Parks. This presentation is meant to give a high-level overview and understanding of the Pig's Eye Master Plan Amendment. This presentation will be covering an overview of master planning efforts, the master plan concept, and next steps. Currently, there are two master plan projects for Battle Creek Regional Park. The first master plan project is the Pig's Eye Master Plan Amendment. This will cover sequencing of natural resource improvements for Pig's Eye Lake. There will be no recreation improvements in this plan. It will be absorbed into the overall Battle Creek Regional Park Master Plan Amendment and anticipated completion is fall 2020. The second master plan project is the overall Battle Creek Master Plan Amendment. This will include natural resource and recreation improvements throughout the regional park, boundary expansion, long-term acquisition, anticipated completion is spring 2021. The Island Lake Building Project is the first step of improvements in the master plan. This project is not intended to be an environmental cleanup project. Overall, the Island Building Project is a habitat enhancement project the overall project cost is $15.6 million. This is combined with federal funding of $11.3 million and local funding of $4.3 million, which is being provided by the Lassard Sam's Outdoor Heritage Funds. Construction is planned from spring 2021 through fall 2024. The second project is other natural resource projects. This is going to consist of conversion of mixed woods to floodplain forest, enhancement of existing wetland, shoreland restoration, and invasive species removal. The last project in the Pig's Eye Master Plan is gonna cover the Pig's Eye Lake public protection. This will include a high level overview and may include as a future amendment or an agency-wide planning study. I would like to give you some background on the Pig's Eye Island Lake project. The feasibility study process was initiated in 2015 by the Army Corps of Engineers to identify the project scope, objectives, coordination efforts, stakeholder, and the overall process. This study evaluated many components, such as the physical setting. This included climate, geology and soil, hydrologic conditions, water and air quality, habitat, fish, and wildlife, historic and cultural resources, in social, economic, and resource significance. Additionally, it covered problem identification, plan formation, evaluation and comparison of alternative solutions, the recommended plan, environmental effects, and plan implementation. Outcomes of the feasibility study. The study determined island building was the most beneficial method for achieving the overall project objectives. Additionally, dredge material was planned to be utilized for island construction. This material was sourced from the Mississippi River Pool 2, and this dredge material was tested by the MPCA and was determined suitable for placing in public waters. In addition, the study was prepared in accordance to state NEPA requirements and federal NEPA requirements. Coordination efforts included extensive coordination between local, state, and federal agencies, coordination with local advisory groups and organizations. A 30-day public review was held for both the state and federal process. And finally, an EAW record of decision was completed in April 2018. The first project to be completed is the Island Lake Building Project. Project objectives include improvement of aquatic habitat, improvement of migratory habitat, and improvement of shoreline habitat. The plan for this project is to enhance and restore habitat within Pig's Eye Lake, which is ultimately a backwater of the Mississippi River. The plan consists of six islands, totaling 35.69 acres. Additionally, newly constructed island protected wetland habitat is totaling 17.6 acres. Island features include sand benches, marsh and wetland habitat, 
of native land plantings. The folder to the right provides an example of previous islands built in Pool 8 of the Mississippi River. The island design included many components such as sand benches or otherwise known as a submerged berm. Basically, these sand benches act as beach zones around the island and they help reduce wave energy if waves crash on the shore. Three of the islands would have a split design. The split design allows for sheltered areas for the creation of protected wetland. Upland portions of the island would host a mix of native vegetation. And dredged material is planned to be used for the island construction. Again, this material was sourced from Pool 2 of the Mississippi River and was tested by the MPCA and was approved for use in public waters. The graphic to the right provides an illustration of the island location and design in Pig's Eye Lake. The second project identified in the master plan is completion of other natural resource components. Currently, the existing land cover includes mixed woods and wetland within the Pig's Eye Lake area. The graphic to the right provides an illustration of the existing land covers. The proposed land cover is a transition to floodplain forest and wetland enhancement. These natural resource projects are intended to increase aquatic, land, and wildlife diversity. The natural resource improvement projects follow the 2018 Park and Recreation System Plan. Additionally, there is a need for ongoing coordination with partnering agencies for completion of these natural resource projects. Specific natural resource projects include conversion of mixed woods to floodplain forest. This is basically a reforestation of native floodplain tree species continued enhancement of existing wetland, removal of invasive species, and revegetation of the existing shoreline. The photo to the right provides an illustration of proposed land cover types in Pig's Eye Lake. The last component I would like to cover is public safety. This is meant to provide a high level summary of environmental conditions. Additional planning and agency coordination will be required to develop a plan for long-term cleanup activities. Public safety components will need to be addressed before recreational access can be achieved into the Pig's Eye Lake area. The photo to the right provides some context for existing conditions and surrounding uses in Pig's Eye Lake. On the north side of the lake is the Pig's Eye Landfill. This is an existing cap landfill and it's also considered a Minnesota Superfund site. On the northwest side of the lake is the existing Metropolitan Wastewater Treatment Plant. You can see there are two inactive wastewater ash ponds located on that property. On the east side is the CP Railway Stockyard. And on the south side is the Red Rock Terminal. Red Rock Terminal is primarily used for land and barge industry uses. Past testing and environmental studies for the Pig's Eye Lake area consists of Testing completed by the MPCA. Findings from this study identified several contamination areas located near the north end of the lake. Additional testing and studies were completed by the Army Corps of Engineers as completed with the feasibility study. The feasibility and study included a phase one and phase two environmental study. Two sediment surveys were completed. In 2015, three samples were tested and in 2016, 10 soil samples were tested. The soil samples were analyzed for level one and level two sediment quality targets in addition to the MPCA residential soil reference values. A summary of the sampling found, the northern portion of the lake near the existing landfill had the highest levels of contamination, which is consistent with MPCA testing. There were low level exceedances from level one sediment quality targets, and there were limited locations with higher exceedances for level two sediment targets and SRVs. After analysis of these samples, it was determined that the proposed habitat features could be constructed within Pig's Eye Lake and are not expected to pose an unacceptable risk to wildlife. The graphic to the right indicates where samples were taken for the feasibility study 
in contamination zones. Other plans that were reviewed for consideration within the master plan amendment included the Pig's Eye Lake Island Feasibility Study, the 2018 Ramsey County Park and Recreation System Plan, and the Great River Passage. For next steps, the 45-day public review will run from August 17th through the end of September. There will be a public virtual meeting September 17th from noon to 1 p.m. Interested participants should request a meeting invite. There will be additional information at the end of the presentation and on the project webpage for meeting requests. The Parks Department will be seeking agency support from the City of St. Paul and other local agencies. After the public review and agency support period, the Parks Department will seek approval by the Ramsey County Parks and Recreation Commission, the Ramsey County Board of Commissioners, and will submit the final draft to the Metropolitan Council for review and approval. It is anticipated the master plan will be finalized in January 2021. I'd like to thank you for viewing this presentation. Master plan comments and questions should be submitted no later than September 30th. This can be done by mail or email. Other related questions or people interested in the public virtual meeting can submit a request by email or can call the number that is listed on this page. Thank you.